Welcome back to the playthrough of Pathologic 2. As stated before, I do flag all my videos as ASMR because a lot of people like listening to my voice. If that is not ASMR for you, then feel free to leave at this point. Someone's inside here. The fuck? They don't give a shit. Love to see it. Oh, and this is the black smudge you talked about. Dude, it's barely seeable. I think we already touched the black smudge one, but I didn't see it at all. Uh, we do have enough mineral though. We can just use it. Okay, it's upstairs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Let's leave. That was fruitful. Let's, let's look at what we gained. We got a thread, we got a safety pin, we got broken scissors, another bloody bandage, which is really useful. Oh, we need to repair all our shit too. Wasn't there like a repair woman? close to the spot because maybe with threat we could repair our gloves at least I think we need to give more fucks about about our equipment unfortunately hmm kind of clothing shop also help me repair things. E not spring wet. You you can repair my 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 stuff. So do we repair the knife, or do we keep on like? Just try to trying to protect our 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 uh, surgery instrument. I would say it's probably more important. Can we still repair the knife? No, we don't have a chisel anymore. But we can put this back to full, full, um, full power. That's already decent. You want to get a bit closer, maybe? She got some, some stuff. He doesn't have useful stuff. I need a repair woman. You're not a repair woman. I should I should prioritize this. I think my protective clothing is is rather important. Why is that? What is this place? Ah, oh, someone's inside. You're a woman. Repair woman? Yes. Augers. But what do we need? Another thread. Can we get that thread? No, we can't. These people never want what I have to offer. That is very sad. They're just all being very selfish. And I see an issue with like how, how full my inventory is at the moment. So even if I find like a great place to loot, I don't I don't have stuff to store it. Wait, that's a root. Perfect. So, we fed the root some blood. And the root rewards us with herbs. Not very useful ones, but at least we got some. Mm, thoughts? Okay.
Or like the issue remains, even if we find a great place to loot, we don't have any slots to, to store the shit we have. But it would be cool if we could just make it to the quest at least. The air is super thick. This way though. Yeah, this is this is the place. I should really make an effort to get like boots and stuff. So I can run around in infected districts for more time. Without worrying about the infection as much. Talk. Our ta towns always had three ruling houses, Cain, Olgimsky and Zaborov. Each one would reign over their own domain. The Cains were all had the Olgimsky or belly, but pray Burak, tell me what the Zaborovs held. The Canes were the architects. I guess they were the hands. The Canes were weavers of laws and of dreams. The Olgimskis were masters of money and men. The Zaborov remained an executive power. The task was to keep the streets in order in a town that where there was almost no no crime. The Canes are proud to call themselves criminals, though, I always remember that. Funny, you see, when the house agreed to manage the town, Zaborov was in the name for... The names... The Triumvirat's head? Was in name the Triumvirat's head? I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. I know... No, I now know... I know... Dude, how can I even read this game? I know not what that meant, nor what it entailed. It entails exactly what is happening now. They could seize control in face of a mortal crisis. Sabarov still believes that his mission is clear. Keep order. He may not look the part, but he is not a fool. He knows duty entails the pursuit of other of order through fear, and that violence means stain the soul of a duty-bound man. Stain the hands too. I don't know, dude. I'm 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 talking Chinese again. Let's talk to this guy. Who are you? Who are you? I'm innocent. There are no innocent men. The primordial sin weighs us all. Give me a break. Shrike, the militia boss dragged me in here. He's had it out for me for the past three years. Yes, I broke into the Cain's place. So, they don't need worldly things. The heavens sustain them. Why should I be treated like a murderer? The Cain's, what do they have to do with this? Well, Simon Kane was old Burak's port. The night I saw them parting near the crucible a few minutes past midnight, your father told him I have three hours left and he'll probably hold out for a bit longer. He must have known what fate awaited him. What do you mean? Look, this whole mess is none of my business, but your father knew that he had three hours left to live. I ended up talking about it when I'd had too much to drink. I embellished a few things. That's when Shrike took me in. Bo both of them were gone on that night. Both your father and Simon Kane. So who killed them? Hell if I know, but it sure wasn't me. I was just passing by and overheard them talking, right? They sounded like they'd planned it all from the start. Get it? No, I don't get it. What? The man is not a murderer. Curiously, his evidence suggests that Simon Kane knew that father was doomed beforehand. Who murdered father i still have no idea there's only one thing i can tell for certain saburov knows even less i can't rely on him in my search what it's good you've come borak we require medical assistance and this time i can't rely on that troublesome dankovsky we my wife is very ill borak i'm not sure how to help her what's wrong with her she seems to be losing her mind she is obsessed with things strange things Go on, I'll keep this confidential. Katerina believes she cares for our town as if she were some mystical ruler. She is delirious. I think she communicates with something. Some being. What kind of being? I'm not used to speaking about these matters. My mind tells me that she is imagining it, but at times I can hear it re respond to her. Yet when I enter her room, I find her sitting alone on the bed. 
I can't master the courage to speak to her. I understand, I'll examine her. Katerina Saburov is sick and it seems like the governor can also hear the voices in her head. The power of love or something shadier. Sure, dude. If you just love someone enough, you can hear their voices in... <laughs> easily. Easily, dude. I did that countless times in my life. Let's give him some, some immunity treatment. Even though he's an absolute asset and idiot. I feel like we need him. He's a useful idiot. Talk. The wisest woman in our town who who would, would take the title mistress, a word that calls to mind the tales of ancient sorcery. Do you believe in such a thing? Mistress for two extra no extraordinary women in the town's ruling families. There was something undeniable uncanny about them. What, who do you think the mistresses are then? Stepson, you bear the marks of nature flown, flow upon your skin, but mind how thin that wire runs in your veins. You are most more stone than earth. Like ships must catch the wind in sails, our town relies on nature's flow. Nature's everywhere, everything lies, lives by her flows. None know how many winding paths there are, none know what forces run their course. There are no words for what they hold. To see them calls for gifted senses, gifted minds. And should one hear the call of such a gift, what feeds the brave new world, they'd find with it. Like being the very first to hoist a sail. Dude, I, I start to hate the conversations with these people. It's all just blah blah. Such gifts are not yet the domain of mankind. Victoria Olgimsky and Nina Kaina, one five foot six, one six foot one mortals, but seen as giants, for they could feel the powers move across the firmament. Woman can sense these things, dude. I'm just talking pure bullshit. Some merely know the flow, some feel them now and then. A mistress tastes those waves might drink of them, and when the stars align might ride them, the people felt such women know the th workings of the world itself. And that's it? How's that not enough? The mistresses kept their hands quite clean of rough and tawdry magics. Victoria knew not a spell that brought the dead to life, but Nina did inspire fear. Along her steps, doors shut and children hid, but those two women gave the town its life. None know how the, the hows and whys of such a power. I heard that Victoria did raise the dead, but that's probably just a rumor. Oh, I can loot. I'm not talk to this guy, dude. They're so useless. I was broken upon the wheel of fortune in a dream. Do you know, Burak, where a mistress's power comes from? The prophetic dreams, her influence over others, keeping the town in balance? I don't tell. I don't know. Tell me. The power of a mistress stems from the earth and only from the earth, no matter what Nina may have said. The only true power is in the earth. It feeds us all. We grow as grass in the field and breath in its spirit. There are other powers out there, the earth is just soil, we're all bound to earth. All these years I couldn't find the key, I was deaf and weak. It's like musical talent, without it one can hear but cannot play. One without the gift cannot take up a melody started by another. I don't have an ear for music either. What, dude? This, like, this is slightly angering. All gifts are like that, surgery too, each body has its own feeling. But recently the earth started to respond. The tiny people living underground, mice and rats and worms, worms too. But mice are more reliable. Rats, they're just like us. Their intelligence equals ours. The earth and rats are different beings. Don't confuse one for the other. And how do you know that? What do you even know about these matters? When the earth must speak to people, it will take any form it wants. Calm down, I believe you. Earth has no mouth, no ears. I see why my past attempts were fruitless. But it took pity on me. It speaks through its herald to me. And he comes to me, tells me the truths. Truths a mistress, mistress must know. All as it should be. 
I feel you some reflections have easy to understand things to say, but when I don't really care about the Saburovs, I don't really feel like reading a wall of nonsense. Yeah. Right. What does it tell you? Could it be your inner voice? Uh, after all, it might be the rat that we let free. No. Does it talk to you about your fears? He says the sand pest and the earth are one and the same. That means there is no salvation. We're bound to the earth. We walk it. We breathe it. We eat its fruits. We cannot escape it. Our bond is inseverable. He's right. All signs confirmed. But the disease appeared only recently. The earth has been the here forever. Ah, I don't know. I don't know anything. Here he, here he comes again. He wants to speak to me, but I don't want to. I'm scared out of me. When I heard his voice, I began to believe in my power. But now I see this power is useless. You need to get some sleep. Sound sleep will help. That's bullshit, dude. Sound sleep never helped. Oh shit! Red boy! I knew it! Human. Red. I'm not. What are you then? A thing of shadow, a thing of the depths, a thing of earth, flesh of a warm flesh. I know the answers, you don't even know the questions. What seek you within me? Truth. What do you want to hear, human? Does the plague really come from earth? What kind of creature are you? Why are you torturing this woman? Does the plague really come from earth? Everything comes from the earth. You came from it as well, and will return in time. Is coming from the earth so a great a crime that one must burn for it? Not necessarily. Here, the earth is still alive, truly alive. You should know better than most. If you remember your pitiful childhood, of course. All living things resist death. Do you understand? But sand past is death itself. Time after time, I'm amazed by humans. The naivety, the conceit. You consider yourself the crown of creation. That alone puts you above hell. Any mouse understands its place better than your sorry species. Only a handful of you think differently, like this unusually sensitive woman, but even they are not prepared to confront that which they seek. The truth snaps them in half like matchsticks. All in all, you are a weak lot. So, yeah. How do I kill the plague? Tell me if you so much about Earth. How does one kill the self in oneself? Answer me this little question, human. You still haven't found any answers to do this riddle other than the mundane suicide. Carry on with that, we will help. Who is we? So dumb. How can one be so dumb? So dumb, worthless, narrow-minded. I hope you don't have any other questions. I feel that all your words are lies. Our, our truth twisted beyond repair. Cool. We just got teleported outside, I guess? Alright. The outbreak is no mere cholera pox or flu. It has a hidden meaning. One you can't study with a microscope. I need to keep investing, investigating. Uh, the spirit tormenting Katarina is real because living earth is real. It bears things like this rat prophet and sand plague itself. So yeah, the, mis the mysticism of this game is hard to understand. The plague bringer is here, walking around. Do you think this is unfair? You should try the first one. I'm not saying it's unfair. I'm saying it's it's kind of rough and I made a lot of regrettable decisions. My friend wants to know, why do you keep asking everyone about her? Do you want to make friends with her too? Friends I'm in. My friend wants you to know you shouldn't touch to those who live in the ground. And don't hurt the earth either. If you cut the earth or cure it, nothing will grow there anymore. See, my friend is good. That's not true about the earth. I told you everything I needed to. There's an awesome worm living underground too. It has two belly spots, blue ones, and tiny little shoes and hooves. A lot of interesting creatures live underground. Yeah, dead people live there too. <laughs> Imagine. Can we go back in? We we got excommunicated out of this place, yeah? I hate to see it. Let's give her, let's give her some meds too. I don't know. I feel like... We probably want to, to keep her alive. Chances are. So should we also talk to this? Nah, dude. I, I, I cannot be arsed to talk to these people. They always say hyper-cryptic stuff. Uh, cryptic stuff. And, um... Like, it is very rough to even understand what they're trying to say. So we're just ignoring them for now. So we're currently in one of the infected districts. Uh, we need a safe way out of here. 
And we're also very, very exhausted. I don't, this guy looks at me funny, not gonna lie. Oh yeah. There's a bit of an uprising here. Our immunity gets really low too. We just need to get out of here ASAP. And I think we also need to get home because our exhaustion is damn high. Uh oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's try to not get beaten up for once. That would be un that would be really cool. Yeah. And there's a new thing that just happened. And this screen kind of tells us what, what things are happening. I get anxious thinking about my kids. Are they faring all right in the lair without me? Oh, shit. Sure. Does that tell me something's wrong with my kids now? They're not even my kids. They're just stray kids that appeared. I don't even know if I care enough, but... We need to get home anyways, because we're too exhausted to live. And there still is the issue with, um... There still is the issue with the food. Can only live for so long without it. And each time I'm, I'm lying down... What is this? What happened? We don't know. Cool. So chances are it doesn't matter which kind of organ I combine with with um, with my tinctures. So yeah, we're trying to find a cure for it, obviously. But I don't think it matters which kind of organ we combine. I think we need to do something entirely different to find a cure for the plague. There was stuff in here. Alright, let's get home. Try to get some sleep. Things will await me here, I, I would assume. Things might await me, yeah. yeah I can talk to her again, but I, I desperately need some sleep. We cannot afford to lose any more health than we already did. We can save, however. Sleep an hour, I guess. Come on, sleep another one. Yeah, that's alright. We cannot talk to him. If I remember right, we had something in the kettle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Tink tinker. We could repair this even more. Or make a couple more medicines. Maybe we should. Oh yeah, the white stuff. The white bone stuff. Okay. Let's um get our stuff back in. Do a little bit inventory management, I guess. However, we don't really need the dead items yet, do we? But I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm trying to visit the dead item shop later. So there, there's a shop that just buys all the, all the broken items. Which is kind of useful at times. Alright, let's talk to this girl again. There is a crow in the oak saying croak and croak. And crook. I couldn't have said that better myself, not gonna lie. My friend told me she's ready to meet you, that's what she said, she did. Who's your friend, Murky? Is she human? I don't have time for games, Murky, can't... Yeah, who's your friend? Okay. No, that friend of yours, is she so sneaky because people are looking for her? I can't tell. How does she talk to you, kiddo? This is troubling, tell her we can meet. My friend said if you come to the crow stone at night, she'll show herself. Tell her I will be there. Of course. Of course. We just talked to the mysterious friend at the Crowstone. Obviously. What else would we do? Yeah, 
Hello, doctor. Can I shake your hand? No, shaking the hands of strangers is a terrible idea these days. I suppose. I'm Isa Klionia, a friend of Yulia Lirucheva. She needs you. I see. You two must belong to the same circle of unbreakable women. Are you a mathematician too? No, I'm an engineer, but I help her with calculations. I respect that. She needs to talk to you. She wants to help you avoid a trap. What trap? A sturdy one. Are you coming? Where? A library in the Chine. That's where we live and work. I know the place. Go. Let them know I'm coming. I kind of... I kind of trust this mathematician girl. Personally, probably because I, I personally think we need we need some logic in this. I will assume she she has something good for us, but that won't solve our hunger problem. But may, maybe there's food there. Okay, let me see. It's over here. Can probably take go to this one. Wait, it also costs me money to do this, right? So we maybe should have walked. I'm not sure, though. We maybe should have walked. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out if this was a terrible idea. At least there's there's some more plants. Love to see it. You'll love to see it. More plants is always good. Candle stop four fish is seven. Fortunate. I could I could trade up the remaining um the remaining matches, but we need some some way of, of creating light. It is, it is quite important. Don't have enough stuff to make a repair on stuff, unfortunate. Oh, that was a new... No. Nothing in this trash bin either. Alright, let's, let's talk to these girls. Maybe they have some food for me. A kid made a gift for his father, two weeks of careful work. He kept thinking how happy father would be when he opened it. He ran into the room, stumbled, but didn't drop the box. He held it out to father. Then father pulled a razor from behind his back and cut the kid's face. Just average things happen. What? Here's another famous one. During the previous war, an officer came to a mother with two children in the camp. Could choose which one we kill, the son or the daughter, he said. If you refuse, we shoot both. The mother gave them the daughter, they shot her. Why are you telling me this? Oh, and listen to this one. Sure. I think treachery is the worst sin, don't you agree? Betraying a warm living person who trusts you? Here's the story. Find a gullible person, an old one. Old people are helpless, you know. Make them follow you and then see where I'm going with this. That's where the, what the Inquisition does to people. Um, so what? That's the Inquisition. I am an Inquisition, Inquisitor's daughter. They're craftsmen, the Inquisitors, crafting people. That's what they call their work process. Crafting people. Tomorrow they'll be here. What do we do? What do you want? Nothing. I just want to look him in, to, in the eye. You never approach them, never touch them. They'll make you the villain. Do you get it? I betrayed my father. I doubt uh, you can surprise me anymore, girl. Thank you for watching this episode of the Pathologic 2 playthrough. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button or check out a different video. A new video will be out soon. So thanks and have a great evening or day or morning or whatever time it is for you.